It's race day and our drivers are all out on the grid performing their final checks before we get underway here at the Bahrain International Circuit. We go racing today around the 3.36 miles of the magnificent Bahrain International Circuit with 15 corners and two good passing opportunities into turns one and four. Keep an eye out for drivers locking the front left tyre into the tricky braking zone of turn 10. So with the race not far away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. An immense lap from Fernando Alonso yesterday puts him on pole position. Edging out Max Verstappen, who'll start from P2. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Stroll, Russell, Perez, Sainz, Leclerc, Hamilton, Albon, Sargent, Hulkenberg, Ocon, Gasly, Magnussen, Sonoda, Joe, De Vries, Oscar Piastri, Bottas, and Lando Norris starts from the back of the grid. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track where preparations are underway. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box, and it's fantastic to have you with us here, but I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? Well, I imagine they'll be starting to feel the adrenaline as they anticipate the rundown into Turn 1, a bit like preparing to go into battle. The unknown situation will bring nerves, but that's a good thing. It will keep them focused on the moment and on their surroundings as we build towards the start of the Grand Prix. OK, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down. Battery charge is high, let's use that overtake button a bit more.
DRS now enables. DRS enabled. And that's the end of the race. We'll see you in Park Fermi.
another spectacular Grand Prix here in Bahrain and a real champion's drive to take the win. Tell me, Ant, how do they manage to achieve this win? I think a large part of the result comes down to temperament. They were able to keep their heads when everyone around them was losing theirs, and that's allowed them to get the best out of the car, to maximise the strategy and to stay out of trouble. Red Bull put up an outstanding fight for the front position today, and it's great to see it paid off for them. They do so much for the sports that you can't help but be delighted by today's race win.